Hello, my name is Louise Crowley. I'm a professor in family law in the School of Law in UCC, and I'm the director of our LLM in children's rights and family law. We're immensely proud of this uh, specialised programme. It is very unique, not just in Ireland, but internationally, combining the academic studies of both children's rights and family law. One of the reasons why this master's programme is so successful is that we are really lucky to have a faculty um, with so many academics who are both nationally and internationally recognised um, in their fields, respectively, both children's rights and family law. And in the area of children's rights and family law, it really is such a dynamic area to study. Every year, the material changes. Every year, we have new policy and social shifts. We have laws that respond to that. And we have key social policy issues that must be addressed, not only by individual members of society, but in turn by our lawmakers in order to ensure that the rights of children and the rights of families and members of families are all both individually and collectively protected. So given the unique status of the family in Irish law and its constitutional elevated protection, it has given rise to really significant debates in Irish law. And for international students, this provides a very unique insight into the way in which Irish law has developed since the development of our free state in 1922. In relation to children's rights, obviously this is a huge area of international interest. And with the UNCRC, we have seen national laws evolving uh, to improve and enhance the respect and recognition of children's rights. So these two underlying areas of law give rise to very rich and robust debate and discussion across our modules for all of our students. The delivery of the program is seminar based for the most part, which means students attend their modules in two hour seminars, uh, engaging in very um, a mutual discussion and consideration of the issues arising. So the seminars are essentially delivered, but also facilitated by our lecturers to ensure maximum student engagement and participation. We have a range of modules and interestingly for the LLM and children's rights and family law, 80 of 90 of the credits are compulsory. In other words, we are very certain that it is imperative that all graduates of the LLM and children's rights and family law have been entirely immersed in the relevant areas as taught in our range of modules by our expert academics. And so in the course of your studies, you will explore children's rights, contemporary children's rights in the context of climate justice, also juvenile justice. And in the areas of family law, you will look at areas such as um, the regulation of the family by the state and also uh, relationship consequences and the division of assets from a comparative perspective. In terms of student engagement, there were a range of opportunities to present in the seminars, as well as elements of assessments, including um, presentation by students. Predominantly, the modules are assessed by way of essays, allowing the students to engage in depth in relation to key issues covered in the modules. The LLM in Children's Rights and Family Law is also unique in that it includes two individual clinics for students to engage with. So students can choose one or indeed both of those clinics if they're so inclined. And these two clinics provide the most unique opportunity for students to engage with the law in practice. So to begin with, the Chai Law Clinic, a well internationally renowned clinic, provides um, high level uh, research for interested parties, particularly in relation to government policies. So the clinic has over the last 10 years made some very significant and critical inputs into legislation drafting at committee stage and um, submissions to those drafts. Additionally, the clinic has uh, uh, supported um, cases being brought before the courts, most notably in the Louise O'Keefe case uh, before the European Court of Human Rights, the Child Law Clinic provided academic research and support to the litigants and their um, legal representatives um, in the case in relation to historical child, childhood abuse in schools in Ireland. The uh, Family Law Clinic uh, focuses uh, on the area of access to justice and has a number of elements that allow students to recognise the challenges of securing justice given the limited access to information and resources for many litigants in Ireland. So the clinic has developed the Family Law Information website, which is an information hub for the public to allow um, people to uh, engage with the law and to better understand their rights, as well as the processes involved in bringing matters before the courts and the authorities. 
Additionally, the students write uh, topical family law blogs for publication on that website, and they also provide research for practitioners in relation to new and unique areas of law, providing the research necessary for those practitioners to present cases before the courts. In turn, those practitioners will present to our students and indicate the way in which their research has been utilised. And finally, the students engage with a learning blog where they reflect on their studies across the LLM and children's rights and family law, considering the way in which they have developed both academically and also in relation to their engagement with the practical application of family law and children's rights. So I'd really encourage you to consider um, applying for the LLM in children's rights and family law. We take a whole host of applicants. Eligibility um, turns uh, in the first instance on having a 2-1 law degree, but we also accept applicants who have a degree in a relevant area of study outside law, may include um, qualifications in social work, in education, in medicine, in teaching. It's quite diverse and really each application is considered on its own merits. Where the degree um, is a non-law degree, we do also look for relevant professional experience. We really love the diversity of our classroom. We have a mix of law graduates and we have a mix of non-law graduates. And every year we also have people who are in the area of children's rights and family law right across the spectrum who bring unique insights and experiences to the classroom, ensuring a learning experience for all, including our excellent academics. And so if you have any queries, I'd encourage you to contact the law school and to really consider joining us on the LLM in children's rights and family law. Our graduates have taken so many routes um, on the back of having secured their masters in children's rights and family law and have become the strongest advocates for the rights of the vulnerable, have gone into family law practice, both as solicitors and barristers, have become researchers in the area and are representing us globally in relation to all areas of children's rights and family law. So I encourage you to apply and wish you every luck into the future. Thank you.